Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Hearts of Man 4 Kaiserreich as the American Union State. Let us continue on from where we last left off. So we are making some pretty decent progress here. Um, we're taking a decent chunk of the Midwest. Again, it's, it's not the Midwest. It, it, this, this is West. This is not West. Anyways. Um, we're getting some progress here done. We've almost meet, uh, met up with the Pacific States of America. Uh, where is... Okay, we're almost in Denver, which we do need... I know we're going to need it for the capitulation eventually. Pele pledges his allegiance along. Yes, we are going... Mo, more loyalists is always good. Give him some support. And then I can call up his troops. Ten new militia units are going to be raised. And what's, what's this giving his support do? 50,000 manpower and a bunch of stuff. Yeah, we'll get that stuff going. Because we do want him in charge. For the, for the sake of the run to actually, uh, for the run to actually work. Gandhi's taking some power. That's fine. Yes, we did get the reform plan. Cheaper firearms? Absolutely. Like, that is so big. I'm going to push you guys out of Richmond for right now. In Chicago, I mean, you're getting a little bit too big. Canada's planning on intervening. Yes. Intervene and support my side, which you should do. Um, Canada supports specific government. Are you out of your goddamn mind? How dare you? How dare you? The Empire of Haas. Okay, so Hungary and Austria are at war. Good for them, I guess. We do need to clean up uh, this area a little bit. March up here. Go to Omaha. Keep marching your way up north. I mean, we're about to take Richmond. Now, should we shrink our front, down, our front line down slightly? Okay, you're the Oklahoma militia. We're going to send you straight into purple. We can also deploy some units, which we're going to deploy near the front here in Little Rock. Sign you into purple as well. Uh, well, we still have Legion's going to be here in 10 days, which is a decent chunk of troops we're going to be getting. You actually have no... Yeah, you have no, you have no supplies anymore, right? Wonderful. We can actually kill those guys pretty easily. We do want to do... Because, again, we want to be pushing our way north. No matter what, the Canadians are going to um, attack the CSA. And if we need to... Um, if we need to uh, attack the Canadians, then so be it. I have no problem with that. Uh, we do want to court six more militias in Georgia. Uh, we want to also capture cities so the uh, CSA doesn't, for obvious reasons. Okay, you actually don't connect. Send you guys both in. Spanish Civil War has now occurred. Okay, so you got some German troops making their way across. And I think we've... Have we conquered Al uh, uh, Appalachia? No, we're still fighting in Appalachia. You go to here. Keep making progress. Fight your way into Denver if you can. Again, how much? Like you're not you're not that powerful. And kill you. Eh, we might be able to kill you. We no longer get the effects of the rifle president. I don't even know what those bonuses were. We see how we actually. We're at 98%. Apparently, we've actually lost some territory. Oh, it's that little chunk of uh, Texas there. Okay. Okay, 
And now we are fighting Pacific troops. P troops in El Paso don't want to die, unfortunately. You know, I really appreciate it if they did. Uh, so we'll send you four up to purple. Or up to pink, I guess I should say. We have to make another army already. And you are going to be right here. And you're going to speedhead your way to Chicago. In fact, all all of you are going to go to that line. And I'm going to troop... Like, can I train any troops closer to that front? Two divisions here. Let's go four from Arkansas. Send them up to here. And just get the invasion ready to go. We will bust through this. Eventually, we'll, we will. It's going to maybe take a little bit longer than I would like. Canada, don't fund the CBC. If, attack the CSA. Okay, we'll pull you back a little bit. We'll send you down here, please. I mean, the problem is that the Pacific States haven't really encountered any uh, real opposition until they've gone to us. So their troops are still mostly fresh. Uh, you go here. You can go to Kansas City while we're in the neighborhood. I mean, we're actually creating a really bad situation for us for ourselves because the CSA and the uh, the Pacific States won't actually share a border here, which is really unfortunate. How are you guys doing so much damage? I know we, we don't have air superiority. That's fair. 5,000 manpower from uh, from you guys is quite nice. Again, so we got the, the Americans down the halfway. Or the federal government, I guess you should, I should say, to be a little bit more uh, specific here. We did take over Kansas City. Did lose some ground though, which is unfortunate. Um, so we got the fire and manufacturers, which is going to give us some cheaper weapons. You guys now are all deploying to purple. Better artillery. Two more military factories. You know, give me that one. We do need some more steel. Russia is actually willing to trade with us now. So I do appreciate that, that we have some friends. How is this line looking? Because this line is looking pretty long. It is something like this. You guys should be killed. Like, we'd have a lot more free room if we could actually kill these two guys in El Paso. Because they are making things slightly more difficult than I would like them to. Again, we're we just need a ton of rifles. Just an ungodly amount of rifles. We got Federal Rebels. Of course, I forgot these guys exist! I hate you so much. Um, Okay, you guys, quickly deploy down towards the south. You know what? Train forward militias down here. Okay, at first I thought these guys might be free, but the answer is that they're actually not. Don't attack. Hold position. You guys fall back sl ever so slightly. I'm trying to see, like, what can we do here? How about you march here? You march up. Pierce for two victory points. I mean, it's not a ton, but it's not nothing. Make a way uh, down towards Denver. You will all be killed soon. That's going to free up a handful of troops for us.
I kind of want to push the... Like, the Federals are already... Looking pretty bad right now. Like, I don't even want to push against them that much. I mean, there's still these idiots down here that I have to deal with, but... That shouldn't be too difficult. How much manpower do you guys all have, by the way? You have about... A, a lot. You have not that much. And CSA has a ton. Okay. Less than an ideal situation, but that's okay. Okay, we can clean this up. But it's like, I do want to be the one to take Washington, because I do want the... um. I mean, will I get the most capitulation bonus? We're at 54% for them. We'll, like, take Denver, because it's worth 15 victory points, which is a decent amount, for sure. Okay, support for the longest. We a lot of political power. We get some war pop. I'm already at 100% war support. Five militia in Louisiana. Uh, you also go down here, please. Six divisions should be enough to deal with whatever that problem is. The problem is that we have a very, very, very large front line. And Denver is living in a goddamn mountain. Do I have more planes I can deploy? No. This is our entire air force. And it's all in Appalachia, trying to defend this area as much as we possibly can. And if we can... Again, 64 to 303,000. Those are good numbers. For sure. And we want to be pushing towards these areas. Like, of course, we don't want to be giving the, uh, the CSA any time to kind of, like, breathe. What the hell are you? What, are you, what is this? No, please come this way. Um, we're going to go to War Economy. We've already got these guys here. I guess we'll just go for Infantry Manufacturer at this point. What if we attack to you? Loyalists rise up in Pennsylvania. Is that good or bad for us? I don't know. Resistance rises in the Midwest. Are you guys here yet? You do have a port, which I hate so much. Yeah, get you guys all together. Um, We got three divisions in Florida. When is this done? 50,000 manpower, 1.5,000 rifles. Train time goes down by a decent amount. A lot of recovery time. Which isn't bad. The Pacific Rebels. Why? You know what? You guys here just hold your position for now. Um... What's how much is Bismarck worth? Bismarck's worth one point. Canada is starting to kind of think about coming down towards the south, which I appreciate. Yeah, they rise up in Florida as well. So we're going to need to get you guys down to Florida. Uh, you guys, I guess, go down to here. And I know eventually, I think there's also... Uh, CSA Uprising somewhere in this region. Which we're going to have to deal with at some point as well. Please crack down. I mean, we're only at 30% stability, which isn't like that good. What if we just wait for you to leave Denver? That's not happening. Okay. 
Oh, you're an actual you're an actual unit. You come down here, please. I appreciate actual soldiers. Uh, you guys can push here for sure. I got more rebels, or not more rebels, more uh, volunteers. I think next he just came here just to immediately leave. I appreciate that, honestly. Okay, come into these regions. How much, like, mostly against the United States makes sense. CSA hasn't done too much damage towards us quite yet. Why are you, like, so da much more dangerous than I feel like you have any actual right to be CS or PSA? Like, you feel, really feel like you're way, way, way more efficient than, uh, than normal. Okay, let's see if we can at least try to push onto, uh, you. Some progress made. Washington. Wait, wait, wait. How are there troops here? Do you have military access? No. I don't know then, actually. Like, I doubt a naval invasion here would work. The AI has 20,000 strength in the neighborhood. Very unlikely for us to get much done, if I take a guess. Okay. Well, let's take the port from you. P PSA, please. I, I need you to actually stop killing my troops. You're actually doing so much damage. Like, more, way, way, way more damage than you can have any right to actually be doing. You got the Bismarck. We are making some progress pushing up uh, through the middle here. Let's see if we can keep up that progress. Of course, the Syndicalist Uprising is showing up. In the west? Oh, no, over here. That's fine. No, that's 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 completely acceptable. I have no problems with that. Um, your 1939 tech, that's a little bit too expensive. Let's go for you, and then... 1939 research tech we can maybe take st. Louis from these guys maybe the uh, apparently middle Africa has capitulated so that's fine or not officially, they kind of just like broke apart into a million tiny pieces. Please do not let them take back the port. Under no circumstances let them take back the port. Okay. Middle Africa has collapsed. I mean, I, just, I don't know. I think we are right now just waiting for the Canadians to get more involved. Because the United States right now is at 43. If they lose Washington, D D Washington D.C., like, I think that's it for them. Like, Denver's not going to be quite enough. You were almost dead. You can do like this. You push up here. You also push here. You guys push against these American troops. One of you actually, you, uh, my good friend, you go to Jefferson City. Apparently that might do something. You are a militia. You go to pink because you're here. Okay. 
So that, I would say, is progress. This should hopefully die at some point. Uh... Can I get into the steel belt from here? I can. I'm going to go into the steel belt. And hope that can kind of save me. I mean, it's, again, I'm not like... In a, I don't think I'm any any actual risk of losing. It's more just that... um. I want to win very hard. And the Pacific, the Pacific states are putting up much more of a fight than I would like. You know what? I think it's time to push against the Syndicalist. What are, do we know what you're doing? You're pushing against the Pacific. Doesn't even make any sense, but okay. I guess you have troops here. Maybe, maybe that's why you're doing it. I don't know. Please just die. That's all you got. You just gotta die. That that's all I'm asking from you. Um, you know what? Let's get delay. You still haven't fallen? And you taking back Houston? What's What the hell are you people doing? I actually rise very close to New Orleans. We can't go here. Um, you push on this front. Still doing okay here. These guys should have like no supplies. So they're slowly getting killed. You still need to do what else you need to do? You need to do ice to the south, and then you need to do crossing the border. So we're still maybe a month and a half until they actually get very involved. Theoretically, of course. I can always just, like, do nothing. Okay, we got some more divisions. You deploy here. Thank you very much. Uh, another factory? Yeah, that seems good. You kill him. You're still not close to being killed. It is taking a... Um, a real... T I don't even have I lost. 141,000 against 605. I think those are probably pretty good numbers. Paraguay, thank you for the 27 rifles. Like, I'm sure our numbers aren't bad. It's just that they're not what I want them to be right now. We need to make another whole army again. Um, so I'll put you in charge. You are going to go to right here. So you guys have fun with that. Like, you're just going to sit in Miami? I think so, so it might... Go back to Houston. Yeah, no, I mean, I think as soon as these rebels are done, though, I think these are the only wave of rebels. I think. So, like, it, it should be good, hopefully, after this is done. But for right now, I think it's going to be a good time for us to end this episode. So, thanks everybody for watching. My name is Anthem. If you enjoyed, my thumbs up. If not, you can always thumb down. You can always subscribe, and goodbye.